Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So today I'm going to talk about trenching and connecting my three EG Ford 12,000 XP inverters to my house. So let's take a look. All right, so on the other side of this wall, approximately here is where my combiner panel is. I have about an extra two and a half feet of tail here, so that way I can connect and have no issues. You can see that my trench is a little over two feet deep. So in North Carolina, where I'm at, you need to be two feet in depth, and I'm about 28 inches. So it goes all the way across. Uh, it is direct burial, so I'm using 4 out. So I believe it is 4 out for the 2 hots and the neutral, and I believe it is also 2 watt for the ground. And then kind of going across, have it trenched, go through my road here, and then I started to backfill a little bit. So I need to backfill some more. I'm doing about 6 inches, and I'm going to have 3 quarter inch conduit because I'm going to run Ethernet all the way from the shop to the house. That way I can get a little bit of a better connection. I do get Wi-Fi in the shop and it is decent, but some areas not so much. So this should rectify that. And then it goes all the way across and then goes up towards the house. Now my old excavator, this thing's got about 150 hours on it, hard hours. So this made it extremely easy to do, especially with having a narrow bucket on it. Once again, just need to keep filling this in, but wanted to show you all what it, what it kind of looked like and what I'm doing. So I should have this all backfilled by the end of today and have that all done. And I'll probably start doing the connections to the shop and to the house tomorrow. And then I'll film how I wired up the combiner panel in the shop so you all can see what that looks like but yeah a lot of work but this should uh this should be pretty good total distance is approximately 185 feet i have 200 feet of cable so i wanted to make sure that i had enough and uh yeah so that's what it looks like thanks again for watching mike's garage